hi do I have this on right do I have this on I know I don't have any of this on right I'm so white I'm covering up with this caftan so I don't I don't like wig you guys out wig I haven't heard that since high school so I won't wig you guys out so how is everybody doing you guys hanging in there today today is oh god my sinuses they're like dripping um but I know it's not the corona. I know it's um, uh, allergies, Se seasonal allergies. So what else is going on with you guys? You all hanging, just doing your best to get by this? Or are you living in a town where your governor said that it's okay to go out? Because I personally, um, I'm going to listen to my governor, as I said yesterday. And I'll go out when he says it's okay. And right now, listen, my daughter is in New York and they've had an extremely, as you know, rough go of this. I am not leaving my house until my daughter gets to leave her house. Like there's, there's no way I'm as a mom going to feel so good about bumping around, riding around, driving around, um, doing a whole bunch of fun stuff while her and her boyfriend are still quarantined after almost six weeks in their house. Um, I just don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair to any of the people. Um, so when they ask who are you doing this for, I'm doing this for the rest of the uh, population. I am not selfish. Um, when it comes to baked potatoes, I might be. I love baked potatoes. Steve will tell you. Steve will tell you. I love a good baked potato. Don't I? No. Oh. Anyway, so I'm doing it for you guys. I, I, and I hope you're doing it for me. You know, I cannot believe that tomorrow you're going to get a massage. Tomorrow you're going to get your nails done. I would love to get my nails done. Um, I'd love to get my hair done. Because oh, I just got my carpets done and now my ass is all wet. Hot. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm just not, I'm, I'm adhering to my governor, regardless of what any of you out there who don't have any medical experience um, may think that you're, um, here, let me show everyone your favorite toy, his favorite toy is I got these in Japan and they were like my favorite little slippers. Well, my dog obviously uh, thinks they're his toys and there he is, he's off playing with my slippers. At least he doesn't tear up. We used to have a dog that we shared as a family. Like he'd go to my ex-husband's house and then he'd come over to my house and stuff. And, and unfortunately, God, it was the saddest thing. Um, my ex fell asleep on the couch. He said for 10 minutes. He said he fell asleep on the couch and um, he, has, uh, he has a beautiful view of the ocean, but there's a lot of terrain down the slope in front of him. And, um, and there's coyotes, obviously, everywhere. And um, one of the coyotes, he, Chuck couldn't, he was calling for him and calling for him when he woke up from his his nap, it, but it was late. It was like seven o'clock at night and he couldn't, and Woody just wouldn't come. He wouldn't come. So the next morning he got on the phone with a couple of his really good buddies and, and uh, they went looking for Woody and they called him and they said, Chuck, you don't want to see this. Throw us down a blanket, um, throw us a trash bag down and we'll take care of, we'll take care of Woody. You don't, you don't need to see this. And And instead of throwing a trash bag down, my um, ex threw our daughter's um, Corona Del Mar high school, senior high school blanket down for Woody because he didn't deserve or need to be in a trash can or garbage bag. So, uh, I don't know. It's not just the coronavirus that's making me like this. Every time I, whenever I think of Woody, still to this day, it 
really affects me. And I know there's a lot of people out there that have lost dogs, lost animals, and um, it's pretty painful. It's not fun. So anyway, I got Steve, and Steve looks exactly like Woody. Um, exactly. And we all love him. My ex loves Steve as much. Well, not, maybe not as much as Woody. I, d I don't know. He's never really... <laughs> He sat me down and said, I want to tell you how much I love Steve. He's never done that to me. And he never did that to me with, with Woody either. So um, I'm just taking the way that he treats. When someone shows you who they are, you believe them. And the way he is with my dog shows me that he cares about Steve and he loves Steve. And that makes me feel really good. And the only thing that isn't making me feel really good is my ass that's so wet from the carpet being cleaned. Um, I am on my way. Oh, so this morning, my girlfriends came over and picked me up. The only two people that I've seen um, uh, while being quarantined. So, like, the three of us are quarantining together. But it, it, um, San is at her house with our girlfriend, Robin. And I'm here, so, and I don't see anybody, and they don't see anybody, so the three of us, um, we and we still keep our social distancing, even um, if we're in the house together, we still do. Um, it's so hard when your best friends walk in the door and you can't give them a hug. It's so, I mean, I don't, I don't mind for the rest of our lives if we walk around going like this to each other and not shaking hands, but when it comes to your closest friends, people that you love that you feel so close to without a physical hug from them it is so tough so for the last six weeks every time we see each other we're like oh, 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 oh. Just two arm lengths and today we just said screw it and we gave each other a, a super nice hug and it felt so good a for, for human contact and b it, you know from my one of my dearest and best friends in the whole wide world so that felt really really good yeah and I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of you quarantining together that are able to hug and kiss and all that stuff but when you're single and you're alone um you can't so all this stuff about people being on tinder for hookups is driving me crazy because my girlfriends and I are like on Tinder and Bumble and what have you. Um, but we're not looking for hookups. We're like, yay, the quarantine's in place. So they can't try and have sex with us for 90 days. Just like Steve Harvey said, just like I've always, I've always been ahead of the curve on that one. That curve does, curb does not need to be flattened at all. 90 days, you wait, you like me, you'll stay. If you don't, you'll split. And then I'll know now what kind of person you are. So this quarantine thing is really, really good. Um, I've had a couple guys that are just like, that I've, I've got pictures. Did I tell you this yesterday? I got a picture from this guy, sports agent guy. You know, you would think a little bit respectable or maybe not. I said, I did say sports and I know enough about that. Um, um, he sent me a picture of himself. Uh, uh, no, he sent me a meme of a guy in a shower running on him like he was taking a cold shower. And I thought that was so disrespectful, so disgusting. Guys, if you're on those apps and you're really looking for a real relationship, don't bring sex up. Girls don't want to talk about that. I mean, this is if you think this is a dating app, date. If you're looking for a hookup, say that up front. Put that in your bio. Only looking for a hookup. Don't drag us through conversations with you only to give you our phone number and have you, you know, uh, like like my girlfriend, San, um, got a message from a guy yesterday going, oh, it's hump day. H how are you doing on hump day? You know, just something se sexual. And, and she was so completely turned off by it. So guys, you're ruining your chances when you come at us sexually. Because if you want a real relationship, sex shouldn't be part of that deal. You gotta know, do you want us to get into your finances within the first 90 days? Do you want us to be able to peek into your bank account and see how much money you have and everything? You're not getting sex from any of, uh, any of us good girls for at least three months when you start a relationship with us. That's just it. Bottom line, I've always been like that. 
and I always will be like that, no matter how old I get. Even if they give me a uh, 100 days to live and I just meet a guy, I'm still going to make him wait 90 days. Because <laughs> that's just how I've always been. Um, anyway, it looks like my time's up, so I'll go and I will come back tomorrow. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Love you all. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.